Welcome back to Tipping Point. Apparently, Hillary Clinton was wrong about one thing. Take a look at what she said. Well, there's no daylight on the basic uh, premise that there should be no bank too big to fail and no individual too powerful to jail. Do we hear this? How do we hear this and not ask ourselves what is happening in our nation? Are we no longer governed by laws? Are we now governed by men, by politicians? Is there a single person in the United States government that the slimy corruption of the Clinton seduction machine does not have a hold of? FBI Director James Comey laid out an airtight case to convict Hillary Clinton of her crimes. Hillary Clinton claimed no emails on her personal email were classified at the time they were sent or received. But the FBI said 110 emails actually on Hillary Clinton's server were classified at the time they were sent or received. Seven of those were classified top secret or special access program. Hillary claimed she didn't delete emails. The FBI said she did. Hillary claimed she didn't endanger national security. The FBI says she did. James Comey said Hillary acted with extreme carelessness. You know what that sounds like? Negligence. Extreme carelessness is the definition of negligence. Anybody else in the United States military would already be rotting in Leavenworth if they did what Hillary did. But not Hillary. Hillary's too powerful to jail. Hillary's above the law. That's the real crux of the matter here. Hillary thinks she's above the law. She thinks she's too powerful to jail. If we were a republic, a nation governed by laws, not by men, nobody is above the law, including Hillary Clinton. Mrs. Powell of Philadelphia asked Ben Franklin in 1776, well, doctor, she said, what have we got, a republic or a monarchy? Dr. Franklin replied, a republic, madam, if you can keep it. And that's my final point. Reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. And if you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. And be sure to catch Tipping Point again tomorrow at 10 p.m. Eastern. And have a good night.